been a while since we've done a Praying Mantis based video. So today I'm going to treat you with an unboxing from the Cheeky Mantis. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So the Cheeky Mantis is a company I have purchased from at invert shows, but have never actually purchased from online. So we can, it's not it's not a review video, but you can kind of see what, what the company's like with their packing and things. And I'm curious to look at it myself. So while I get this box open, I'm just gonna to explain to you why it is that I've bought some Mantis here and also, if you stay tuned to the very end of the video, I'm going to be talking about a few other little things as well. So if you're only here for this particular unboxing, you can feel free to skip the rest. Whoa, don't use a knife towards you, Sam. That's a foolish move, isn't it? God, getting almost as bad as Kelly with these knives lately. So while I unbox this, unbox this? While I... <laughs> While I unbox this, let me tell you a little story. So in all my time of keeping, ladies and gentlemen, I have never once successfully paired Praying Mantis for all sorts of reasons. I've had ghost pairs where during the final molt stage, we lost a male and was left with an adult female. I've bought pairs in the past, well, sorry, one pair, adult pair in the past. The male just would not play ball no matter what I did. We had my adult female orchid mantis and I was kindly sent by one of my disciples of the realm, a mature male. Again, he didn't play ball. He would actually rather just fly off um, than be interested in the female. And she also was unable to pair him with her female, which is why she sent him to me. So we've just had problem after problem. So in here, there is a pair. I think they're like sub-adult sort of stage, but there is a pair in here and it's an easy species. So we are going right back to beginner level now, folks. And in the future, we're gonna try and pair these. So I'm already quite uh, like, ooh, with this box because we have got here the little business card. I think it's a card, yeah. Praying Mantis Enthusiast and Breeder, the Cheeky Mantis. We've got this nice, vibrant, Cheeky Mantis style pink packing. Oh, and I've also got an additional mantis in here as well. Uh, right, where are we at? Okay, so we've got all three here. So, one. Two. And three. Cool. Right, I was just thinking to myself then, Am I going to have to count segments to see what's female and what's male? But Cheeky Mantis, I do believe, has done me a bit of a favour by putting pink and blue. You see, there's a little pink dot here. There's a little pink dot on here. And then this one is a blue dot. So I'm going to guess that's showing that this one is the male. So we will get them out. I'll have a little look at the segments, check it myself to make sure. So I think these are like a stage behind sub-adults or like pre-sub-adult stages. Um, L6 maybe. Um, so yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. Normally when I do buy Mantis, I buy them at tiny little L3, L4 stages. Oh, this is brilliant. So before we get them out, why have I got two female and one male? Well you would have already or hopefully already seen my live stream. There was a live stream that played on Wednesday. This video is actually being recorded on the Wednesday, but before the live stream. And in that live stream, I was gonna try and persuade my friend James to try out the invert hobby. And I know that we'd spoke about Mantis in the past. So I've actually bought an additional female Mantis. Now these are, that I can never say this right. I always say Schrodomantis, but it's like Sphodromantis, Sfo Sfodromantis um, species, and they're like 
Togo, I think. They're an African mantis, yeah. Sphero mantis species, Togo, African mantis. And these are kind of like your very basic beginner level mantis. Now I thought to myself, if I'm going to treat James to a mantis, I'd like to get him a female because they live longer. I'd like to get him a beginner species like we've done here. And I'd like to get him a specimen that isn't super tiny so he doesn't have to worry about things like fruit flies and the vulnerability as well of younger ages. So if you're going to get your first mantis guys, I would recommend getting at least like an L4, L5 stage so that you're past that vulnerability. So that's why we have an additional female. Now, if we're successful in the pairing of our male and female, we can then try and move our male onto James's female. I say James's, but he may not accept this mantis. He may not want to join our hobby, which is fine. I will keep the mantis for my own breeding project. We literally are just doing a live stream for a bit of fun to see if he took it. So if you haven't watched that live stream, maybe go back now, have a check on it, and see, did James accept my gift of trying out his very first invertebrate? Or is she staying with me? Don't mind either way. Now I've talked at the screen for quite a bit here, so we're gonna have a nice little look at these mantis, and then I'm gonna give you a bit more information on this video about other things going on. I have a little tarantula in this box, to give thanks out to among a little talk about how our projects are going and what's going on with the channel. So first of all, let's take off our top here and see if we can get our mantis to come out. Hey! Chill, chill, chill. I'm not gonna hurt you. I love the way they just wiggle their arms. They're so inquisitive, Mantis. They're so underrated as well. And on YouTube, they don't get an awful lot of views. Did you guys see that? Where has she gone? She just jumped off my table. She, she literally jumped the full length of the table off the end. So she is actually definitely female. I can tell because she's only got a limited number of segments. Males will have more segments than females on their abdomens and they tend to um, increase as they go up to the tip as well. So, let's have a little closer look at her. Should we put her onto Kamorabi and have a look there? For a second there guys, I thought I lost her. Can you see her? There she is. So, simple African species but a beautiful species nonetheless, right? Look at those raptor-like arms. I wanted to get her on the moss. Shall we see if we can just... Well, that's it, it's all right. There's a better look at the abdomen. So you look at these segments and then we'll compare it to the male soon. Do you know what I love about Mantis? Is this little shield part here. I would love to get myself some of those really large shield based mantis. I think it's super cool. I'd like to get a side shot you girly. Can we do that? Can we please? Look at her. She's so pretty. Yes you are. Yes you are. <laughs> So let's put her back and let's compare her to the male. So I just noticed actually, I didn't read properly. This female says Chad, which I'm guessing is a place in Africa, I do believe. This male says Chad, but this one says Togo. So I'm hoping they are all the same, just different locality, which would be fine. So I think we'll end up keeping actually this female and this male um, because they're both from Chad and then we best give the Togo one which is when we just looked at to James. But you can see the female of the Chad one, same sort of size, right? So here is our male. 
And let's try and uh, get him out on Kamora B. And we'll see if we can get a look at his little butt so you can see the segments. One handed Mantis moving. Can you move your Mantis one handed? Let's have a look. Yeah, can you see how the segments, there are more of them, they are also closer together. That's how you can spot your male. Oh, you're an inquisitive guy, aren't you? Oh, I like side angle shots of Mantis, so I think we'll pop the macro lens on and see if we can have a better look at him that way. There he is. Macro lens on the face. Isn't he beautiful? It's almost an orange coloration on his arms here, on his raptors. Oh, we're just, sorry for the shakiness, we can see that marbly effect. You can actually see the spines on the raptors as well, used to hold their prey in place. Wow, well, you know, you can see winged buds, so you can tell that it's not fully grown yet, but on its way, and it should have full developed wings at the end. Sorry, my phone's going off in the background again. And you have a better look at those segments. You see how they become close together right at the end? And there's more of them. And yes, that's our boy. And there's my female just looking up at us. Why didn't you take me out? Why didn't you take me out, sir? Because they've already seen a female. They don't need to see you too. Oh, but they do need to see me. Cute. Whoa, messed up with camera skills there, Sam. Zoom out, not zoom in. Okay, so we've had a look at these mantis. You know that I want to try breeding again. So now let me talk to you about other things going on. So first of all, I need to give thanks to my mate Troy. Troy has a YouTube channel, Flawless Fangs, and he kindly gave me two Panthobetius manganigra. So let's have a little look. Can we see it just through this bit? Or should I take the lid off? Uh, the lighting isn't good. Let me take the lid off, but can I do it one handed? That's just going to be such a sketchy video. I'm like contemplating things to myself whether I can do them. Oh, every time I lift a corner, I'm pushing another down. Okay. Okay, there he is. So, yeah, I've got two slings of this same size absolutely stunning i love panfo babies panfo panfo babies they are amazing aren't they you can't not like a panfo sling so yeah massive thumbs up to my man troy for gifting me two of these you are a top bloke um, you've been very supportive of me over the years so massive thanks to you man big shout out so one last thanks to the Cheeky Mantis for providing me three beautiful specimens. And now we're gonna have a little chat, you and I. So what else have we got to talk about? Well, I'm not gonna go into details. I may put up a full detail video. I'm not sure whether to do it or not. But long story short, there was a video put out that YouTube didn't like and they demonetized me as well as a bunch of others. So I'm no longer able to earn from YouTube for what we think is potentially three months. Hopefully it's not any more than that. Uh, channel members are no, a, no longer able to pay me because that's a part of being a part of the YouTube Partner Programme. So I can't gain ad revenue from now or from a week ago. I can't get money from my YouTube members. All I've got is Patreon. Um, so we are having a massive setback on Project Paradise, among other mini projects going on here in the realm. If you do want to help me out and get me back on my feet, you can support me via Patreon still. I've been fortunate enough that a couple of my members have switched to Patreon, so massive thanks to you guys. It really, really has helped, but we are still less than half the finances we were getting in to cover these projects. So if anyone can spare as little as two pound or two dollars a month please head on to my patreon link it's in the description below probably somewhere around the bottom or you can simply google search bug rounds patreon um, to find it so yeah i'm not going to go into the details but 
we are demonetized. As for Project Paradise, um, unfortunately we took on a species that I'm not going to name yet because you haven't seen it yet because I want to try and build it back up. We lost a few of the nymphs and we are down to three of that particular species and they are very difficult to sex until they are mature. So I'm hoping we've still a male and female there. All we need is a male and female and we can continue them on as long as we get some over. If we fail the rest, it's fine, we try again. If not, it's gonna be quite hard to get hold of more of this species. Um, basically, I lost a couple of nymphs when I went away to stay at a friend's, I came home. I think, because they're a humid kept species, I may have, I, I wanted to give them a bit of extra water because I knew I was gonna be away and it's coming to summer. Perhaps it was actually too high a humidity for them. I don't know. I've done something wrong to lose a couple of them. Um, aside from that and the loss of our hypericum plants, which I mentioned a while ago, sorry, I keep looking that way. I'm actually looking at the stick insects. Um, aside from that, the loss of one of the species, the loss of our hypericum plants, and the fact that I'm no longer funded for Project Paradise. Aside from all those things, it's going all right. It's going well. Um, I've got some new species on the way. It's probably gonna be in next video. Uh, doing an unboxing. So some of them I've kept secret from you, some of them I haven't. Um, and I'm quite excited by this unboxing, so make sure to stay tuned to the channel if you want to see what it is I picked up. There is one species in there I have been after for a very long time, so that's going to be quite exciting. So yeah, to end this off, thank you to Troy, thank you to my viewers, thank you to Cheeky Mantis. And oh, one last thing, make sure we do you do pop back on my replay of my live stream that went on Wednesday to see whether our friend James really did take on his very first invertebrate or whether she continues to live with me. So thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Bye bye.